What's going on guys? Tyler here helping you plan big and hustle hard and today guys we're going over something that is long overdue and it is talking about a different, a few different aspects, a kind of a follow-up video to my Elementor sales funnel video where I talked about Elementor page building for sales funnel marketing and um, I've got a ton of comments, tons of questions talking, you know, asking about different, different aspects of it, you know, how to um, integrate um, email collection, how to integrate payment gateways, um, just all kinds of different stuff. Um, this video has done really well for me and I'm so I'm you know super happy that I could help so many of you um, by making this video. However, I just do want to follow up kind of and just kind of continue to provide a little bit of value in regards to this. So First of all, guys, if you haven't joined the family yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, drop a like on this video. That would really help me rank in SEO. And uh, I've got a notepad, notepad here with just some notes, and we're going to go ahead and just get started on this. So I do just want to mention before we get started, um, if you're looking for a web host right now, I do have a link down in the description for my top recommended web host. And it's not GoDaddy, not Bluehost, you know, not HostGator, probably not one that you've used before or even heard of. But it is the, at least in my opinion, the best web host I have found. I've, you know, switched over other companies' um, websites to this web host and increased speeds drastically because of their solid state drives and their server side caching. So if you are interested, go ahead and check out that link if you're looking for a web, ho web host. And uh, that could really help you out. Um, let's see, what else? Also, I just do want to mention in this video because. I mean, the possibilities are endless, especially when you're creating your own website, you know, when we're not following, you know, strictly like something like ClickFunnels where we're in a very limited environment and can only do what, you know, they've set up the possibilities for us to do or create. Um, the possibilities of creation are endless on this when we're building out our own thing. So there's not necessarily... I don't necessarily have the answers to all of the different options on here. Um, I'm going to go over, hopefully in this video and hopefully in a few future videos, some different possibilities um, as far as you know, email, autoresponders, um, payment gateways, things like that. Anything else that you guys have questions about or even would like clarification on, on how to build out, um, I'm going to go ahead and go through that in these videos. But like I said, the possibilities are endless, so um, I don't have the answers to everything. Um, I just would like to invite you guys to go out and do you know put in your due diligence and research out you know what email autoresponder you guys are using you know um, research out what payment gateway suits you best and how to integrate those into your own website so um, I'm gonna go over a little bit here but just go ahead and do your due diligence and really research what you need which is specific for you which obviously I can't cover everyone everyone's individual case and what they need right so um, just an invitation to be self-sufficient in in researching that out um, okay let's just go ahead and jump into it so like I said I'm Tyler helping you plan big and hustle hard if you guys like this video be sure and drop a like so let's go ahead and jump into this so this is a landing page I created actually I run it off of my own website here um, it says 100% free cheat list uh, let's move myself here. Cheat list, download the seven extremely profitable ventures every entrepreneur needs to know about in 2018. Um, each of these ventures can potentially generate 300 plus dollars a day. Um, and then uh, it's got an opt in here for an email address and a get access now button. So this is just a super basic landing page. Um, this I think is even an image right here. So I just dropped an image, made it on Canva. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Canva, that's where you can create graphics for free, super easy to use. Um, so I created an image right there, dropped that in. I have my header, which I probably just copied over from a different template on Elementor. And then I just have my email opt-in. So super simple. Oh, and I do have a little text box down here. I don't know why it's not showing right now. Sometimes this happens, but that is my disclaimer down there. So um, right here, if you guys want actually to download this cheat sheet, you're more than welcome to down in the link in the description. I'll have that linked up so you can go ahead and download that cheat sheet. Um, I put a little bit of work into it. I really like the way it came out. Um, it's it's there for you to download for free. So, um, But as far as the opt-in page goes, this is the area that we'll want to focus on the most right here. This is the um, email collection form right here. 
And you can see this is actually an embed form that I got straight from MailChimp. And this is actually how I run this whole page is through this embed form that collects the email address right in this form and then sends it directly over to my MailChimp um, account so it's collected there. So again, it's it's super simple. Um, if you want to do this, if you are using Mailchimp, like I said, there's so many options out there. But if you are using Mailchimp or even any kind of email provider that has the option for an embed form, this is super simple to do. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Mailchimp account, go to lists, and you're going to get presented with all your lists here. And then we're just going to go ahead and select one and the list that we want all of our emails to be collected to. So we'll hit this drop down arrow here and hit sign up forms. And then we'll scroll down and just click under embed forms. We'll hit select. And then once we're here, it's super simple. Um, we just select all of our different options on this left hand side here. Um, do we want the form title? Do we want to show all fields? You'll want to go through and make sure everything's tailored exactly to how you want it. Um, for this example sake, I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and change this like uh, we'll say just sign up below. And then uh, we'll go ahead and so you can see it updated now when I clicked off it. Um, we'll go ahead, this is the code right here. We'll just go ahead and select it all and copy it over and go back to Elementor. Now the nice thing about Elementor is it allows you actually, there is an HTML um, item here. So we can go, oops, that's sidebar. Go ahead and drag in the HTML item here and you can see it's just code right here. So we could just go ahead and paste this in and just like that, we have our form integrated directly into our website. And uh, we can drag this wherever we need it. Um, just as simple as that. Um, and then we can just go ahead and hit update and we'll be good to go. Um, this will allow people that when they put in their email address there and hit the subscribe button, they'll automatically be subscribed to our um, newsletter or whatever it is we are offering and they will be added to our MailChimp list. So a few things here. Um, if you need to edit this, I know CSS like I may have mentioned, um, so I know how to kind of style this. But if you go through, it's pretty easy to do. Like you can find um, sign up below here. That's that text right there. We can just say enter your email below or something um, like this email address field right here is uh, let's see right there it looks like so we can change this to just email and it changes it right there the subscribe button um, for example if we come down here so the input type is submit that's the submit button right there um, this value equals um, we can change that to get started. Um, if you don't know HTML or CSS, don't worry too much about this. Um, this is just you know an option for you. If you do know it, um, then you can easily edit things in here. And if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. If you break the code or something like that, if everything kind of collapses on um, this code, don't worry about it because you can always just go right back here, copy this over and paste it in and start over fresh. So um, that's one reason, you know, I like I like using this embed code is it just makes things easier and they're just pretty clean. Um, even if you want to get rid of this whole section up here, this enter your email and everything like that, you can go through and find it and then you can just simply delete it. So I just got rid of that enter your email part there and then this right here indicates required um, that's all going to be there the label we want to leave that for the email there so we can get rid of this whole um, div a div open tag meaning the start of a div and then this the slash div is a close tag so everything in between is just a section you can just go ahead and delete that and there you go really simple you've got just basically an email and a button now here so guys if you don't know css or html or can't read any of that don't worry i've got a completely different option here for you it's going to be much easier um, it's just if you do know the code this is just easy to integrate so let's go ahead and get rid of this and let's go over now to the um, we're going to go ahead and add a new plugin here. All right, so here we are on the add a new plugin page. We're just going to go ahead and search in this new plugin. We're going to look up contact form seven. 
Now, Contact Form 7 is actually a very popular plugin. You might have heard of it before. It's this one right here. All it is really is it allows you to create forms very simply um, and collect information from visitors on your website. That's essentially all it does. The key to Contact Form 7 is that it is, like it says right here, simple but flexible. The flexibility is that it has options to have other extensions and plugins, if you will, um, added onto it. So essentially, it is a plugin for WordPress, but you can also add bonus like extensions to this plugin. So right here, we're going to go ahead and install Contact Form 7. We're going to get that set up, and we can create forms just like that. But the key that I want to talk to you about today is, for example, if we have MailChimp here, um, if you need help integrating MailChimp, you can go ahead and get something like this, like Contact Form 7 Connector. This connects MailChimp, MailerLite, and Zapier integrations with Contact Form 7. So you can add this plugin, for example. I've never used this one specifically, but I did see it. It was worth mentioning. Um, maybe this will help you a little bit when you're adding or trying to connect MailChimp to your website. But the idea behind this whole idea this whole concept is that we have the website, a visitor lands here, they submit information. We need that information to go back to our MailChimp account or to our email autoresponder account so we can go ahead and like collect it and add them to the list. So this right here is just going to help with that. You, I'm guessing you're going to log in with your MailChimp account and then go ahead and connect it right directly into the form and just add a field for your email. Um, this one I have used before, so if we search MailChimp all one word, um, it's going to come up with different options here. Uh, this one right here, Contact Form 7 MailChimp Extension. This one I believe I've used before. It's pretty simple to integrate. I think you just need to generate like an API key, which is super simple. They explain how to do it. It took me like maybe 30 seconds to a minute to figure out. Um, and then you just basically um, create your your form on, on Contact Form 7. You add an email field or a first name field or whatever information you want to collect and be sent over to your MailChimp account. And then, uh, yeah, just set up your contact form and then embed it in Elementor and you're good to go. It's, it's very simple to use. So if you don't know CSS, if you don't know HTML, I highly recommend trying this out. Also, when I was making this video earlier, I saw this and this was super interesting. It says, easy forms for MailChimp. The ultimate MailChimp WordPress plugin easily builds unlimited forms for your MailChimp list and add them dot 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 and you can hit more details to see more but I think this might actually be worth taking a look at. Um, this might allow you just to create um, opt-in forms like super easily on on the website and it's got really great ratings with over 100,000 active installs so um, I would definitely take a look at that. Um, this one I've used before I can't remember how well it did um, I think it worked okay again great ratings um, so maybe take a look at that um, so again if you're using a different email autoresponder like you know get response or a Weber or something like that you're gonna need to look up individual plugins for those See if they integrate with Contact Form 7. That might be a great option for you. Um, if not, then you're going to just have to look at, do they have an embed code um, that you can just embed directly on the site? Um, how can you design that embed code if you don't know CSS or HTML? Is there anything else that would allow you to design that? Um, yeah, so basically just similar things like that. Um, let's see. So we talked about MailChimp, the HTML part. We talked about Contact Form 7. Uh, the MailChimp plugin for Contact Form 7. Let's go ahead and talk about payment gateways. Um, let's, I'm going to assume because um, the majority of payment gateways are at least the most popular ones online right now are probably PayPal and Stripe. Um, I'm going to assume that you're going to use one of these two to collect your payment. Um, even if you use other ones like such as like Moon Clerk, um, I believe that's even based off of Stripe. So you'll see these two are like, you know, really big giants in the online payment gateway um, community. So this right here is a plugin I found. I've never used it. Um, hopefully I can, you know, use it in a different video and kind of show you guys how to set it up. Um, I looked into it a little bit. It looked like pretty good. Um, it, But basically, Contact Form 7, PayPal, and Stripe add-on. This is going to allow you to integrate your PayPal account or your Stripe account directly into your form collection. So you should be able to process like a... 
a payment essentially or send them over to a payment page depending on what you're using. Um, it looked pretty good. Again, over here you can find PayPal donation. I would just go through, honestly guys, like I said, I want you to be self-sufficient in researching this out. So whatever you need, just go through, look for plugins, see if they'll help you, see if you can figure it out. Because again, you know, there isn't just a one size fits all. Um, and essentially, you know, it's going to be different. We're not just recreating click funnels. And in my opinion, we're creating something better because it's more versatile. It's more tailored to what we need. And I can still use the services that I love, like MailChimp, like PayPal, things like that. Um, whereas, you know, ClickFunnels, sometimes they don't work great with all the services that we love using. So um, right here, PayPal for contact form seven. Here's just a strictly PayPal one. You might want to check that one out. Um, if we want to look up Stripe, I know there is tons of different plugins for Stripe. All right. So as far as Stripe goes, we have a few different options here. We have like Stripe payments right here. We have direct Stripe. There's that one we looked at earlier, uh, Stripe payments for WordPress, WP Simple Pay. Um, Stripe Payment Gateway, Stripe Plugin. So tons of different options here. Form Maker. I'm not sure why that one popped up. That might integrate with Stripe, maybe in some regard. So like I said, you know, tons of different options here. I would definitely take a look at these, um, especially if you plan on going with Stripe or even if you're going with a different one. Look at the plugins available for WordPress and research it out and see if there's either like embed codes, if there's like buy buttons you can integrate onto your website, if there's, you know, plugins like these, um, just anything like that. So I just want to help you guys kind of see the possibilities. But more than that, I want you to understand, you know, how I go about diagnosing these different problems and issues and, and different things that, you know, challenges that I know I'm going to face when building this out um, and how you can find answers as well. So I look here, I look on Google, I look in all these different places just to find, you know, what I need. And like I said, you know, this is not going to be a ClickFunnels duplicate. This is, we're building something from scratch essentially. So, you know, have a little bit of patience, but in the long run, I think it'll work better for you. I think it'll be more tailored to your needs because it's not just a one size fits all. It's, you know, something specifically that you've researched each individual part. Um, also, I think it will save you some money probably because if you're you know if you're subscribed to click funnels you know you're paying a lot of money um if you're if you're able to put this all together um for virtually nothing i mean it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run so just look at it all see if you can kind of work through that and uh Guys, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate you watching this video. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and make future videos um, very similar to this, kind of integrating different pieces and showing you how I would use the different pieces and, and put them together to build um, up landing pages, you know, um, forms, collections, all of that different stuff. So if you have not already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button that helps me rank in SEO. And be sure and subscribe. I want to see you back soon. And guys, drop a comment um, as well. A, a comment. Drop a comment as well. Um, if you have any other questions or anything like that, I really want to help you guys. And I know I can't, you know, do solve every problem individually, but I do respond to as many comments as I can. And I'm trying to help you guys out as much as possible. So drop a comment. If you have a question, if you have a concern, you know, you're stuck on something, even if you just want to brainstorm like, hey, I have this idea of what I want to do here, but I'm not sure what services I should use, anything like that drop a comment. I will be sure and get back to you. So thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day and keep hustling hard. Take care.